Hello everyone, it's me, Destroy D, and I am reviewing today, well this is a review, so that's what it is, and it is what it is. I haven't done a Bakugan anything in quite a while, um, my most recent Bakugan thing was my test stop motion, before that it was been quite a while. So I decided, you know what, I am going to review a Bakugan, because I was filming a bunch of reviews today. So I am reviewing a s Series 1, I guess you could say, Generation 1, the original Bakugan, the best in my opinion. Um... Subterra Rattaloid, and it does have, and Subterra is like the ground one for those of you who aren't quite as uh, knowledgeable about Bakugan, and Rattaloid is like a snake thing, it's kind of a ripoff of Serpinoid, but you know, it is what it is, they're like the same thing, it has 430 Gs, um, so yeah, and uh, the cards I'm reviewing with it are Dan's Launcher and Nightmare. The gate card. And Dan's launcher is the ability, and Nightmare is the gate card, obviously. So let's start with good old Dan's launcher. All right, it has a picture of well Dan's launcher, and with a little card in it, the pirate symbol and everything. There's like a lava spurting in the background. It says, "Play before you roll a pirate's back gun. Plays your back on any gate card that already has an opponent's back gun on it instead of rolling." This is pretty useful if you're like. You're like, okay, I want to do a battle right now or whatever, and I have a really strong back on like 900 something Gs or something cool like that. I don't know. It's funny because, like, that's nothing nowadays because the stupid new Series 4 ones have like 2 million Gs, and yeah. I remember the days when like 600 Gs was so much. <laughs> Anyway, so this is useful if you have a strong back on and you could and your opponent has a weak back on. You just put it on their card, or if they roll in your card foolishly, uh, just put it on there. It's a pretty useful card, but it's only you can only use it for Pyrus, and I do not use Pyrus really. My favorites are Aqua. Well, my favorite is Aqua, so I usually use that. So that's the card. It's a pretty good card for Pyrus people, obviously. All right, and then Nightmare. This is a great card for Darkus. Um. It's a great card, so almost all great cards, except some of the new ones, which is very stupid, because all the new ones are stupid, um, give no bonus to, or does, or has no special ability, whatever, you know, that thing down there. Um, it gives 80 to Pyrus, 70 to Aquos, 20 to Subterra, 120 to Chaos, 170 for Darkus, and 120 for Ventus, and Ventus is the highlighted, um, attribute. Um... It shows a picture of Reaper, like, from the anime, with lightning in the background, and I think that's the darkest dimension. I'm not sure about that. Like I said, the card's name is Nightmare. Um, it's a very good card. I use it when, because Darkest is my second favorite attribute, I use it when I use my Darkest team almost always, because this is a very good card. Um, yeah. It, all the other boosts are below 100, except for Chaos and Ventus, and neither of those... Well, Ventus is, but Chaos is not a very popular type in uh, most multiplayer settings nowadays. Um, yeah, and even then, it still gives 50 more bonus than them. So this is a pretty good card. Um, definitely recommend picking this up for newish, like you're just beginning and you have a Darkest team. It's a good card. Um, there are some definitely better cards out there, but it's a pretty well-rounded card. Like I said, if you're just beginning and you have Darkest, it's a good card to go with. Or you and you're like me, I bet a few vet year veterans, yeah, a few year veteran of Bakugan. It's, I still use it. It's a pretty useful card. Alright, and lastly, we have the actual Bakugan, probably the part you've all been waiting for. Um, like I said, it is Subterra Rattaloid. Mine has 430 Gs. Alright, for... Uh, Alright, so yeah, the head closed. This is pretty, very simple to open. See? Yeah, it's pretty spherical, you don't have to worry about anything like that. It rolls good. Now, here's the problem. It's going to work perfectly when I show you guys this. Watch this. There we go. See, it worked perfectly. But when I actually use it, this is why I never use it. And plus, it doesn't have a very high G, and I'm not going to lie. That's a actually very awful G amount, because it's not like so low you can use lowest G card. And it's not so high that it could be a power hitter, like, uh, you know frost or anything like that so yeah not a very useful back back gun um it, if you're gonna get a back gun i recommend getting one that's over 500 g's and or under um like 350 so, or under 400 probably so because anything between 400 and 500 is not 
I never use that sort of Bakugan. Um, they're not very useful, let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, it closes very easily when you roll it on the battlefield, though. This guy does not like opening. I don't know what's up with him. Um, it might just be mine, like I said, but he has a rather small area for a magnet. I don't know what's up with that. And, um... He doesn't like opening all the time. I actually have quite a bit of trouble getting him to open, even when the magnet lands directly on the card. You know, he has to be moving rather slowly or just put forcefully directly down like that. So that's not that good. That's a three and a half right there. But, um, alright, so just for the review, I'm going to write down in the description below three and a half because that's what I do. I put the overall. Both the cards, I would, I would give Nightmare four and a half out of five it's not that good of a card but it's incredibly useful i'm not saying it's bad this is definitely one of the best cards you could get oh there you go it's not one of the best cards you can get but it's a good card to buy like i'm saying if you're thinking of a card you could buy that you don't have yet this is probably a pretty good one because it's useful in many situations but it just doesn't give a high enough boost you know to be incredibly useful but if you're fighting with somebody sub of sub terra this is like the ultimate card but you know once again, Subterra is like, well, Subterra and Chaos are like two of the least common used types nowadays, with Pyrus and Darkness being incredibly common. Uh, Dan's Launcher, another four and a half out of five. I actually, it's a good, it's a useful card, but I can never seem to use it at the right time. Like, it won't never ends up working out for me, so I'm not the biggest fan of this card, and plus I'm not a Pyrus person. So I give these both these cards four and a half out of five. I give Rattaloid a 3.5 out of 5 because of his opening problems. He closes fine, but he opens very hard. Or it's kind of hard to get him to open to stand when rolling, so that could be quite a problem. And he's rather heavy for most back on, that's another thing. That could be a problem. He's good for knocking enemies off cards if that's the sort of thing you want to do. He's useful for that. But for... um trying to stand and be a power hitter rattaloid just isn't it unless you can get a higher g rattaloid than mine so yeah um other than that he's a great backing on but those are those two problems take him down to a three and a half out of five because there's not a whole lot of things i can rate back on on so if there's smallish problems i have to take off quite a bit for them you know so yeah I, overall i recommend getting all three um, definitely you should add a Rattaloid to your correct collection. I'm not saying they're bad back on. I've seen the Pyrus ones, I believe, they are 630. I'm not sure about that. 640, 630. Those would be a good to pick one. They're good ones to pick up. Both these cards I recommend. Great for Pyrus, great for dark, eh, Darkness. Um, yeah, so this is overall a 3.5 out of 5. Only because these reviews are mainly about the back on. I just could not think of another way I could add the cards in because I don't, obviously, I don't remember which cards came with which Bakugan, because they're completely random, if you don't know that about Bakugan, they give you a random Bakugan, completely random type, completely random G, so, and then completely random cards with it, so, um, that's a great thing about Bakugan, I don't think anyone likes Bakugan anymore, <laughs> I'm such a hipster, wait, that's the opposite of a hipster, I'm such an opposite hipster, so yeah, say goodbye, Rattaloid. <laughs> I'm going to throw a rattle in now. Throw. Just, there we go. I just threw him. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, everybody.